What is up everyone? Good morning, New York. Buenos dias. Konnichiwa. Bonjour. Hola. You guys should have heard Lambert snoring last night. It was oh like dinosaurs. We are getting ready for Gary V. Doing an interview with him, so that's pretty exciting because he's awesome. What look are we doing today for everything? Oh. Well, we're gonna do about two different looks. We already did one in the morning. Yeah, it's a meeting. For like meets and meetings, and then right now what we're gonna give. We're gonna put in. <laughs> we took a Becky with the good hair. We took off her hair off. We're gonna be applying it to Paige Hathaway's <laughs> mop. So we're gonna be doing just like a nice down curl, something she just whipped up herself in like 20 minutes. <laughs> Stand right here. This is how every makeup artist on the go needs to just calculate how you're gonna be applying her lip in the elevator. Elevator has great lighting. so convinced that you can't go on living forever, appearance of these brand deals, and being crazy. I think you guys have seen things come and go. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think Instagram influence is going away tomorrow. I do think that it's gonna get policed in a different way by Sometimes. Instagram, but yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. so for example, I don't have the most followers. I just think that I'm good at business. Has there been anything you've been thinking about? I think a lot of people make the mistake of like, we're gonna do television now, or this and that or you think about building brands behind it, or you look in a sign, you know, somebody, if they're smart, can sign a $10 million deal with a core brand. Like, do you have a feel of that, or are you just kind of like, in the vortex right now, it's like so insane and exciting and awesome, that you're like, holy fuck, I can't believe this is actually happening. I mean, it's a mixture. Yeah, yeah I mean, totally. by the way, like, a, like literally every single time I take a selfie every single day, which is a lot of times a day, I'm always like, I cannot believe this fucking <laughs> So like, I'm, 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 I'm glad to know that your photo album is like yeah, selfies. Oh, my entire photo album. Anything from your perspective? I mean, yeah, again, like for me, right, day to day kind of like working with brands, right, brands yes. reaching out to us, I'm kind of going back and forth with them. Yes. I really have to educate them on like, 100%. you know, who Paige is, right, what she really does, how she's really different from all the other girls out there, right? And then on the top of that. And they're just commoditizing the math, right? They look at her followers, the likes, engagement, and, and there's no brand, like, that's a place where I went, right? Like, I get paid a lot of money to publicly speak on the brand more so than the actual math of my life. Yeah. Right. You never okay. want to commoditize. There's a lot of pretty girls with a lot of followers, and even if you may have, and you have a whole lot, still three of them can get that same number, and if it costs less for three, like, you know, that's what people are thinking about. Right. And I think the right strategy for you guys is to think about, like, look, there's a reason I have the million dollar man action figure here. <laughs> When he was in wrestling in the 80s, he said everybody's got a price. I think it's important for you to price in a way that speaks against your strategy. What I'm saying there is you should come up with this pricing strategy of what's the number that gets you to start debating and you should actually price that way. Because then you have all the leverage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So appearance, yeah. you got paid to appear somewhere. Yeah. How much of that do you want to do or not want to do? I mean, I love that's it. That's awesome. I need to like, meet people in person, which I really love that. I'm sure they love that too. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get into public speaking? You haven't always done that, have you? 
No, I got a random email. I mean, the story's ridiculous. I got a random email, and the person was like, do you want to speak? And I was like, yeah, and I'm like super pumped, and I thought I was going to pay for my own plane tickets in 2009, eight. And then he was like, how much do you charge? And I was like, fuck, how much do I charge? And I tried to come up with a crazy big number. I said, five thousand dollars She said, okay. I was like, fuck, I couldn't <laughs> more. And then I, I made pretend I only heard 30 minutes. But I it's an hour, and I said, ten thousand dollars because I have wasted it. And he said, like, okay. And I was like, fuck. There's even more money in this. And then I did it, and I had no idea what would happen. Literally, no idea. Right. And I, and when I tell you I loved it, there is no place on earth where I feel better. What I would tell you is, if that's a place where you're thinking, and it is very lucrative and very smart to do, don't ever, ever, as awesome as it's going, don't ever, ever waver from being strategically helpful. I would speak for it if that's something you want to do right. at the right event yeah, yeah, yeah. at the right people. Yeah, I know I know that because like obviously when I started it, I did a ton of stuff for free. I think the biggest thing is you guys have to figure out and you should spend all your time on strategically is how not to get pigeonholed as a pretty girl with a lot of followers. Because yeah. that is a real challenge. To the no, I really don't think that I have that problem at all. Yeah, no, no, you do. Really? No, I'll yeah. tell you why. Because you're a pretty girl with a lot of followers. Yeah. Like it's so right like you're right about your core. I'm worried about this town, where yeah. there's where there's real money. Have you broken the glass ceiling and talked to the audience as the businesswoman that you are yet? No, but it is something that people. I ask think you me. should. I'll tell you why. I get why it won't get as much engagement. And like, right, I'm very right. aware of why a lot of your fans are looking for other kind of content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would 100% do it. It will change a lot for you. Like, even the way you just answered me, I mean, I know you for nothing, for four seconds, even the way you just answered me about the free thing, just the way you did it, makes me optimistic that you should very much focus on it. <laughs> so you've done the right things to deserve this, don't let it go away. Okay, well, that's right here. <laughs> just posted, just posted major goal alert. You know what's great about the face, front facing camera? Is that every guy looks back to look at butt, Paige's butt and I'm just like, hey. I see you. <laughs> Watch this, watch this, watch this. Okay. We're gonna, look at this, leave her. Oh, Go, leave her. little. <laughs> move, move, Fernando. Move, Fuck. Fernando. <laughs> Giving a second look, we are using Orbe's super fun, strong hairspray. Now this is what's going to really seal in all those big hairs. Yes, <laughs> Kevin Murphy brush. You think it's just a simple ponytail? Oh no, think again. <laughs> and you want to not only just spray the hair, you also want to spray the brush. Tension. Good to have an assistant, but you're filming right now, Lambert. <laughs> and then a little trick, you spritz, you lay the hair straight in. Okay, on her. Judge one of my nails is all well, three of my nails are broken right now because um, Paige beats me at night. <laughs> Hola, <laughs> I am on my way to um, shoot with um, a guy named Brian Maza. What I'm going into is a class that he. Uh, that he does. I'm gonna take you guys with me, show you guys whatever he's gonna take me through, whatever he's gonna teach me. I love learning new things. I think that he has some sort of class or something like that that we're about to get into. I came across this facility about three years ago. It's not just being the best right out of the gate, it's longevity and having that consistent product. Hi, I didn't see you there. If I have any injuries we should know about, 
Old injury, we have money. Gotta do what it do, what it do. One thing we pride ourselves here at Tone House. Team Spirit, a lot of energy, okay? Let's break it down, let's break it down. Come on. Team 1-3, Team 1-3. 1-2-3.